you met with Speaker Boehner this afternoon, correct? Uh, I will be meeting with Speaker Boehner uh, later this afternoon, and um, I look forward to having uh, a conversation with him. What do you think he's going to say? I really don't know, and I am not uh, coming in to this uh, with meetings uh, with other members, uh, staff or, or friends having expectations. What I'm here to do uh, is to ask for forgiveness and show what I'm going to do moving forward. And you met with your colleagues, and Republican colleagues, this morning, correct? What was their reaction to your apology? Um, I continue. You know, I did. I met with uh, what's called conference. That's our weekly meeting. And uh, it was really nice to go in and have a lot of handshakes and hugs and a lot of support of people who reached out and said that they're they're here for me. And I, I've been moved by that. It's been really nice. I think the question that everybody wants to know in Southwest Florida is, you say you're going to focus on your family, you say you're going to focus on your recovery, yet you're also going to focus on your job in Washington. And there, people have a lot of doubts whether they're going to get the short end of the stick in Southwest Florida, whether you're really going to be able to do your job. Sure. I will work every single day uh, to show them that I can and I will. Uh, while I have not had the clearest focus on my family over the last year or few years, um, millions of people are able to strike a balance every single day in their lives of work and family. But and you're in a I unique circumstance right now because mm -hmm. you're just learning to focus on your family more. How can you really do both and, and expect people of Southwest Florida not to say, hey, you're not putting us first? Well, my family comes first, period. Um, while I do have a job there, I do serve Southwest Florida, uh, and, and Southwest Florida and the country is always on my mind. A God and family are first in my life. Um, I, I work hard. I work really hard, sometimes to a fault. And with the new focus, um, I know that I can continue my strong work ethic and continue to serve Southwest Florida uh, in the way that I have. 2013, for all of my shortcomings and all of the mistakes that I've ever made in my life, um, 2013 was a great year. Yeah, but you're um, a freshman. You're a freshman, and so you're trying to gain respect. Now everybody knows you as the congressman who got busted for cocaine. Can you really expect people, your colleagues in Washington, to listen to you? And can you effectively get anything done for the people back here when that's what they're thinking? They're looking at you and thinking, you're the congressman who got arrested for cocaine, the rapping congressman, and I I'm not even going to listen to what he has to say. Uh, this is the type of trust that I need to rebuild every single day, and it's not going to be easy. Um, but I conf I'm confident that if I can take this one day at a time uh, and use the skill set that I've been blessed with to do, uh, that I can achieve positive results and get things done. It's something that I've already proven that I can do. And while this, I understand the profound impl implications of what I've done and what I need to do moving forward, are you uh, going, going to, to meetings to do just every day? That. Are you going to AA meetings every uh, day? <clears throat> there, culturally, there are 12 step groups that exist. They, I, I want to be very careful about this. They pride themselves in, in anonymity, which is the word that you're using when you use. But you've letters. come out, you're, you haven't and been anonymous about that. You, you are coming out and saying sure. this is something with you. Have right. you been to a meeting? So I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to answer your question. Um, uh, I go, I have a 12 step support system uh, that I utilize every single day. I have a professional support system both here in Washington uh, and at home. Uh, I have an incredible support system that I lean on every day, and I've been doing something that I have been not very good at for many years, which is actually asking for help. Uh, and in doing so, I, I know that I can be a better man if I take this a day at a time, not only for the constituents of Southwest Florida, but for my family. And I know people in Southwest Florida only wish you the best. They just really don't want you to have to do this recovery on their dime. Okay. Uh, I. I, I don't know how to, how to respond to that. I'm, I'm um, who you hired a high-profile ethics attorney. 
um, to help you guide you through this process, the ethics investigation. Who's paying for that? I am, personally. Are you afraid there might be some mother skeletons that are uncovered? This investigation's much different no. and much more open than a criminal investigation. Sure, no, not, not at all. But when you, when you deal with uh, the law, and this is what it is in, in one way or another, you hire a professional. And this, this is what I've done. And um, I am, uh, I have, am, and will be uh, f frank and honest. So and, there's nothing uh, else that's going to come out. That. Nothing else that's going to come out in the no. coming months that my life you is need open, to, to, to be open about now? My life, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, while this has been extremely tough to deal with uh, just on a personal basis, uh, I've, I've had to deal with it uh, with the whole world watching. Um, and I want to be able to do so with dignity and respect. And, and I hope to do uh, just that. I, I can't pretend to be Mr. Bright Shining example of, of recovery uh, in just a few months and, and pretend that I've been doing it for 10 years. But as the eternal optimist, as someone who, who believes in, in God and my faith, I hope that I can be a role model uh, in the years to come. But you're uh, confident and, and that nothing else is going to come out of this ethics investigation that is going to um, no, and hurt your career will, or the people of Southwest Florida need to know about right now? No, and, and I will share with them as I have with you. Um, your own party is turning against you. People are coming out of the woodwork to um, run for your seat. In fact, just yesterday, your former supporter, the sheriff of Lee County, Mike Scott, said he will do everything in his power to make sure that you don't get reelected. You know, Sheriff Scott is a great guy. Um, I, and I know that I have to make amends and rebuild trust as I serve this year. Um, not only with, uh, as you know, as you put it, party heads or, or uh, uh, the, uh, the establishment of the party, um, but what I do is to serve the mom or dad that just woke up this morning and they're trying to get their kids to school or trying to have a family meal tonight. Um, and I have a lot of work to do, not just for the party, uh, but for the people that I serve and that put me here, that elected me here to do their job. But that mom and dad sitting at home having dinner with their family feels that you betrayed their trust by being out in Washington, D.C. with a drug dealer and not doing what you were supposed to be doing, what they elected you to do when you went to Washington, D.C. Uh, once again, I will have to do everything. I'm asking, I, I have taken full responsibility and accountability, and I'm asking for forgiveness, and I want to move forward. And, and I hope that people will move forward with me. Um, I, I'm proud of what I've been able to accomplish, but I understand the gravity of this, of what I've done. And in doing so, I, I, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can uh, to make this right. Have you Not, apologized to the people um, at that $1,000 a person fundraiser that you attended, that you held after your um, bust? Your drug bust? Have you uh, reached out to I, them, returned their money, talked to them, apologized, anything? Th them uh, and anyone else that I, I dealt with, yes, and I'm getting right with that. And Kelly, I do want what do you, you mean? to know what that do, Have you have... called them? Have you given their money back? Yes. I mean, specifics. Sure. I, I have uh, spoken with the people that have put that together and we're working on uh, a resolution now. Okay, so and, you and, haven't... And Kelly, I, I just need... I just need to let you know, I, I want to do everything I can to give you as much time here as possible. Um, but you do need to know that votes have just been called. So um, you have you talked sorry. to the people who donated $1,000 after? The specific people, have you given them and their money back? Yes, not every single individual, but, uh, but I have, have I've talked to uh, the people that put it together. And, um, and we're, we're working on, on a meeting, and, um, and, I, and I'll... I, more than happy to let you know what happens with that. Okay, I appreciate but I'm, that. I'm working I mean, to, to everybody's make this, wishing right. you the best, but but you did come out and say that you had a dealer in D.C. that turned you into federal agents. Do you have a dealer in Southwest Florida? Is there someone here that you bought cocaine from? No, no. You never did cocaine in Southwest it, it, Florida, Kelly. To to sit here 
and this rehash is what people every mistake are asking, uh, that me I've ever to ask you. They're asking me to ask you me. that did you just start doing drugs when you got to Washington? No, I, I as I've, I've already answered that, and I will again. Um, like many others, I experimented in college. Um, my and my issue though is alcohol. I, I now. But you got arrested when for I drugs. Drank, I and I understand that, and I've made some very bad decisions. Um, and in doing so, I'm trying to do everything I can. I understand that. But if you had a regular dealer, and someone who says he was your dealer in D.C., did you have a dealer in Southwest Florida? People want to know here. Yes or no? The answer is no. The answer is no. But but Kelly, for my health, so you never bought cocaine in Southwest I, Florida. For my health, no. And, and for my health to sit here and dwell on. Uh, mistakes that I've made in But we're talking uh, about the voters, at, 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 what they have a right time. to know. I, I understand that and I've been doing everything I can. I've been giving press conferences and most importantly, I answer my own phone. I respond but you're to not emails answering my question. as much as I possibly can. You're not answering Kelly, my question. We're talking for me to sit here and dwell on this. This is I in order for me to stay healthy and and keep a mindset here uh there's no uh, to to just drag myself down into every single you know thing that I've ever done uh, in my life. I need to focus on what's most important, and that's my family, and that's getting healthy, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So how can you I focus have on your family and getting response, healthy when you're a freshman I've, congressman who needs to be doing his job? I mean, you can't focus on everything. Do you think it's best for the people of Southwest Florida if you let someone else take that seat who can truly focus on what needs to be done in Washington and not on their recovery in their family and themselves? Sure. Can you focus on your family when you work? I'm not recovering from an addiction right now. And milli But millions of people in America are, and they strike that balance, and so can I. And that's, and in doing so, um, I have a renewed focus on my family, who I love dearly, and in becoming a better man for my family, I know that I can for the people of Southwest Florida. And when you talk about party heads and, and uh, 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 elections, an election is the absolute last thing on my mind. But what I am humbled and proud to have are people who have called me, who have emailed me, sent handwritten letters to me, uh, supporting me, saying that we appreciate what you do. What about Keep up this the fight. PAC, Anthony Farhat's PAC, that's raised all this money to support your opponent? I, I, I have I have no idea about any of I I do have to go and vote um, to do what is my professional job. Elections are the last thing on my mind. I am not paying attention at all to any of the kind of nonsense that's surrounded uh, with any kind of a, of an election or re-election bid. What I'm focused on is serving Southwest Florida and our country, and we have great things in the works this year where I've worked extensively with Democrats and Republicans to find solutions here in Washington and get something done. I want to be able to do that uh, with dignity this year, and I'm going to be able to do it, and it's going to be a great year, and I know that we're going to have a lot of accomplishments well, for Southwest uh, we Florida. Well, we wish you all the best. Uh, you know, you have a lot on your plate right now, and hopefully, you know, your recovery uh, goes on uh, well, and you take care of yourself and your family, and thank you for your time today, Congressman. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate your time.